Families come to Soundbridge because they want their children to learn to listen and to talk. We pride ourselves at Soundbridge on providing top-notch audiological and educational support for all of the families and their babies. I think families primarily come to Soundbridge for birth to three services because they see that it's very listening and spoken language oriented. And most of those parents want their children to learn to listen and speak. What's critical in birth to three is that we're not providing a cookie cutter approach to early intervention. It's based on the child's needs, it's based on the family's needs. Access to sound early in a child's life is a crucial part of learning, listening, and spoken language. Our aim is to get uh, hearing aids or any form of amplification that's appropriate for the children on as soon as possible and to meet with the families and discuss what their hopes are for their child and discuss their unique needs as a family. Our primary responsibility as early interventionists is to help the parent learn effective strategies so that the child can learn spoken language. We're really teaching the parents how to make an environment in which the child can make sense of the sounds they're hearing. The first part of that is that the baby needs to wear the hearing aids all the time they're awake so that they have a consistent signal so that the brain can begin to interpret those signals. We're able to put hearing aids on babies pretty much as soon as they're diagnosed with hearing loss. Um, with newborn hearing screening, we're identifying babies at a month of age, and we're able to get hearing aids on children as young as two months of age. At Soundbridge, we're really committed to getting hearing aids on as quickly as possible. If hearing aids are not providing the child with sufficient auditory access, Soundbridge helps parents consider other options, including cochlear implants, so their child will be able to hear speech and learn to talk. Although it is a big decision for families, the outcomes with cochlear implants can be fantastic. From there, what we're looking at is really what happens in that, that family's daily routines. It could be things like changing diapers, uh, mealtime, washing clothes, and how can you find language and really develop good listening and language in things that you do every day. Most families have no experience with hearing loss. It can be both unexpected and devastating for families to learn their child was born with a hearing loss. The good thing is that we have both the technology and the instructional support to provide the child with sound and to help him learn to listen and talk. We at Soundbridge are here to support families through that process. Listening and spoken language are within reach.